Yeah, yeah. When I'm out, I barely have a drink. You know, when I try to pick up girls, I barely have a drink. Because, you know, it keeps me more conscious of the things that are happening. But yeah, sometimes you need a little bit of alcohol, I guess, to get confidence. I don't need that anymore, but I did use it in the beginning as well. See, you need to have a good balance, though. If you drink too much, you're just gonna be um, a nuisance to everyone around you. So unless you have really good body language, if you're fucking drunk, um, <laughs> you're not gonna have a lot of success with girls. You know, you know how many how many drunk idiots talk to a girl every night when they're out in the club. You gotta be you, you gotta be the one normal guy. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier when you know you're not an idiot. It's a lot easier to talk to a non idiot. <laughs> you feel anxious when you're in a club. Yeah, I mean, it's normal, man. It, it's it is. See, the thing is, clubs are designed to have fun, and if you don't have fun in a club, you need to find something in the club that is fun to you. Either it's the music, either it's the people. But um, the first thing, the first thing you gotta work on is yourself. You know, if you don't feel comfortable in a club environment, it's not because of the club, but because because you think you don't belong there. So you need to fix that. You need to fix that belief that you don't belong to the club. You know, I know a lot of people that don't really like electro music, and that's why they don't like clubs. But they still enjoy it because it's very social zone, and that is the highest amount of girls. Um, single girls that you will ever have anywhere and you know they expect you to talk to them you know so it's also a lot easier to talk to them because they actually expect you to, to be talked at uh, by you you know you see a club is designed for two pe for two things meet people and have fun and if you can't have fun in a club well that's it that's your first problem <laughs> you know if you think you will never have fun in the club, then there's something fundamentally wrong with you. You know, there's something wrong. Why can't you have fun? Why can't everyone else have fun, but you can? So there's there's, there's a deeper issue there, you know. But I know I know people that you know never ever go to to a to a nightclub, but you know they still talk to girls um, on the streets or in the library or at the coffee shop or in university, you know. If you don't want to talk to them in a club, well, you need to do it somewhere else. Why is the music so fucking loud? Well, there's another thing. Um, another thing, you know, the club owners want to earn money, right? And it's harder to talk to girls when it's louder. So one way to talk to girls is to bring them a drink. That is why club music is so extremely loud. So it's a little bit harder to, con um, to have a conversation with someone in a club. So what can you do? What can you do to a girl when you when you don't have um, when you can't talk, right? You bring her a drink. And that is that is how clubs work, you know. The reason they are so loud, they 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 are mostly designed to have fun, but at the same time cock block you as much as possible, you know. That is how clubs are designed. That is why it's so loud. That is why you know there's like a bar every five meters. <laughs> Get as many people in there as possible. Half girls, half guys and get the guys to buy the girls drinks. And that is why I don't really drink, because, you know, I don't want to fall into that category of guys that just buys drinks and never gets the girl, you know? I'm more of the body language guy and the guy that gets physical very quickly um, with the girl, you know? Start dancing with her, touching her face, stuff like that, you know? So if you want to drink, sure, drink, but drink for the taste and maybe a little bit um, to, you know, get more extroverted, but don't get shit face drunk, it's never, it never works. See, one thing that I see very often is like, you know, a very nervous guy with his drink to the chest, uh, looking around the club. Have you seen that, you know, that guy that stands with the drink like this? And just scans the club from left to right, sees, okay, can I talk to this girl? Can I talk to this girl? Yeah, that's like one of the most pathetic um, appearances you can have in a nightclub. You stand with the back to a wall, a drink in your left hand, the right hand doing whatever the fuck, and you're just scanning the environment looking for something. You know how I interpret something like this? Okay, this guy has no party in him, he's looking for the party. He is not the party. He wants to be part of the party, but he will not give you anything. <laughs> he is a leech. He's a leech. He's looking for entertainment. He's looking for something. He's not giving anything. And you know, one one thing I like to live by is give first, 
and see what comes back. That is so much easier because, you know, people will instantly like you. If you're a guy that just gives, just like that, you know? Like streaming, I just stream like that, you know? I don't... I don't uh, restrict the source quality to subscriptions or bullshit like that. No, I just give the content to you for free. And you can take that as you will, you know? If you want to support me, you support me. If you don't want to support me, well, you can still hang out in the chat. Because that is also a form of support. You know, the more people are in here, the more new people will come in. And, you know, having that mentality of giving first and receiving later um, is, very, is, is a very attractive trait to women. Because that, that, that seems like you, you're responsible at the reliable person that you can depend on, you know? And if you're one of those guys that gets a drink, leans onto the wall and just scans the club, what does it tell to everyone around you? You are the guy that doesn't know what to do, that, sh that just waits for something to happen. Okay, one, one really cool trick I can tell you guys, um, even if you have no friends, you can find a male friend instantly at the bar and he's gonna be your wingman in five seconds. So you go up to a random dude and ask him how much is the beer here. He's gonna give you a random answer. He doesn't know, or like 350, you're like, what, that much? And he's like, yeah, that much, yeah, bro, what the fuck, it's so expensive. And instantly you have to be a buddy. And one thing I can tell you right now, if you don't give a fuck and you just go to the dance floor with that random guy that you've just met, right? You just met that random fucking guy and you, you two are destroying the dance floor. You don't give a fuck who's around you, you just start dancing. Do that for 5 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, you will be surrounded by girls. Why? Because you are the guys that bring the party. See, I really don't care if I look like a fucking idiot when I'm dancing. That is not, that is not important whatsoever. The important thing is that you don't give a fuck, you know? If I dance like an idiot, then it looks like I feel ashamed, right? Then that doesn't work. If you're antisocial, get social. <laughs> I was, uh, you asking me how to be social when you're antisocial? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't work, man. It's like, how can I be... How can I be Chinese when I'm Austrian? You know, that doesn't work. <laughs> you need some massive changes for that. It's not like I can throw you in a club being an asocial person and all of a sudden you're gonna be super entertaining, super fun to be with. That's not gonna work. That needs work. Real work. And the thing is, everyone is antisocial at some point until they get out of it. I was one of those antisocial persons that was always for himself and didn't talk to people. Yeah, the, okay, the thing is, whatever what he said just now, you think, you think when you talk to the girls, they will think you're a creep, you're a creep. The problem is you're thinking it yourself. The first thing you're gonna change is change your own image, the image of yourself. You are not a creep. You're just a guy learning how to talk to women. You're not a creep, you're learning. And you know, when you take the stress of yourself, you know, when you don't stress yourself out over all this bullshit, like, what will they think of me? That is one thought you need to perish. Stop thinking what other people think of you. Because it cripples you. It cripples your actions, it cripples your... Um, the way how you talk to people, you know? If you think you're a creep, well, you will act like a creep. As simple as that. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, get all these negative, shitty thoughts out of your head. As long as you have those shitty thoughts, they will mani manipulate you. You will be sabotaged by your own fucking thoughts. So the first thing you gotta do is just to work on your self-image. How do you see yourself, you know? And the way how you do this um, is the following. Um, instead of thinking of all the things that you don't like about yourself, how about you think only of the things that make you great? You're probably thinking of yourself like, I'm a cool guy, I'm not an asshole, I wouldn't, I wouldn't betray her. I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that. I'm a, you know, I can be talked to. It's nice, it's nice to be around me. And if you, if you can't even think that, you know? If you can't even find little positive things about you, that is the first thing you gotta work on. You gotta find things um, where you feel, okay, I'm actually a worthy person, you know? If you feel like you're a creep, you're not worthy, well, of course, you're gonna re represent yourself exactly like that. What do I think of myself? I'm awesome. <laughs> Did you, did you see what I did there? I didn't even think about it. The first thing that comes to my mind when someone asks me what do I think of myself, I think I'm awesome. And that is the kind of mindset you need to have.